Hello everybody. I wanted to take some time and show you the pro some progress on this uh, massive build that I've been working on. If you saw the earlier video I put together that talked about how to use programs like 123D Catch and Binvox to be able to uh, scan real world objects into 3D models and then translate those 3D models into uh, voxel style models that you could use in Minecraft. Uh, this will look somewhat familiar. The, um, in that earlier video, I used an example of a smaller sculpture, or a smaller version of this sculpture that you see off in the bay there. Um, since then, I've been working on trying to complete the, the larger version up here that you see on the hillside. And it's interesting. Um, oh, if I can manage to not get shot by a skeleton, that would be a lot easier. Um, it's been an interesting project, and I think it's at the point now where we are, there's some really interesting stuff going on, especially when you look at it from the very, very top. So I wanted to make a video of it before I have to seal, seal the thing off. So let's go off and, and we'll, we're going to walk around the base and uh, make our way up through the heart of it up to the top. Um, and then I'll try, probably try to make a second video here once that's done. So as we walk around this uh, little valley here the I keep meaning to try to close the loop on this project and take a bunch of screenshots of the thing as it's built in Minecraft and then feed those through into 123D Catch to see what sort of a 3D model that would make because I think that would be super trippy but um, that's probably gonna have to wait until I'm done trying to build this because that's taking up all my all my gaming time at the moment um, so as you can see, it's quite large. Um, I'm really glad that I <laughs> chose a point that allows me to, um, that gave me the, the space to build the thing. Um, I had to kind of be careful in scaling it to make sure I wouldn't run up against the top of the world and uh, make sure that I had picked out a place that had a large enough footprint so that it wouldn't get, wouldn't sit awkwardly on the ground. Um, but it's kind of fun, especially when you see clouds chopping through the middle of it like this, and that'll look even even more surreal as we as we climb up the middle of it. But so yeah, so that's um, a brief view of it up the from from the outside. Now we're gonna go in and try to find um, find our way up through the middle because um, so I've had to build so I've had to build some support structures in the middle of this thing to support the length of time that I spend in this in this build. Um, nope, not there. Um, so there are, I had to hide, hide my way in, but, which is why you have these torches sitting there in, in apparently random places, but they mark the, they mark the entrances. So here you have the shot up the middle, um, and yep, there's a cloud moving through the middle of the sculpture, and you can see the, some of the scaffolding that we have to take to get up. And you can see a pit that we've had to dig, or I've had to dig, to be able to mine the, the cobblestone necessary to build this thing. So theoretically, there might be a point at the very, very end where I can jump, you know, fall through a hole in the ground and hit and go all the way down to um, uh, bedrock, which is way down there. Um, I have a mini, mini little farm going on and some, uh, in case I get hungry while I'm building. Um, as you can see, I like carrots, and uh, I've planted a couple trees, although I've harvested most of them at this point. So let's move up. Um, if I can remember how to climb steps, that would be a lot easier. So here is my little um, hidey shelter. That uh, when it gets to be night and I don't want to wait around, or don't, I don't want to try to get back to my house. I've built myself a little home here. I just it. I'm the kind of person that likes to square things off a lot, so it makes it kind of challenging to remember that every one of these blocks is simultaneously an interior and an exterior surface. So if I were to try to, and I made this mistake actually, I tried to mine these two to be able to put the chest down next to the crafting table, and um, I lost drop, lost bricks down to the bot, down to the bottom, and almost lost everything else. So anyway, um, I need to update that sign because. That's actually not where it's at now. Uh, so pardon me while I do some house some housekeeping. I have to make some notes to myself to remember what level I'm at. 
So we're now at level 85 out of 100 done. So let's come, let's punch back through our wall, and now we get to climb, start the arduous task of climbing up to the very, very top. And it looks like I've got a dark spot. I need to put some torches in to prevent some bad guys from spawning, but he shouldn't be a challenge. The, tra the, the bad part is when you get skeletons spawning in places like that, because you'll be minding your own business, and then you'll get whacked by an arrow. And when you're really unlucky, like when I'm at the top of this thing, the arrow can actually knock you off the build and cause you to plummet to your death, even though you're wearing, you know, enchanted steel or enchanted iron armor. Um, nothing's going to prevent you from fall from dying when you fall, you know, 70 blocks to your doom. So anyway, here we are. Let's see if we can wait and um, use some target practice, I guess, while I wait for the. Um, Oh. I apparently was not careful enough and have managed to piss off zombies that can get to where I am. Oh well. There we go. So, much better. And we're going to head back up this way. The interesting thing about it's kind of nice to be able to walk around the inside of this space and see different... I mean, like what what the shape looks like at this scale. Um, if you remember from the earlier video, the form was actually a sculpture by named Bather that uh, was an interesting process to um, like photograph and then see what it looks like you know, when it gets much much larger, much much larger. So you get these interesting little nooks and crannies and dark spaces and things you've got to try to find. Um, ways to explore. And I need to find a way up. I try to make sure that the inside of this is as clean as possible. I'm going to have to spend some time cleaning up. Yeah, that's not tricky. Um, these routes, once the whole thing is done, because I would like to be able to walk around the inside of it like this and have a kind of scaffolding system. So yeah, there's the there's my hole down there, or my my shelter. Uh, and we're, I don't know, what level are we on? Uh, 137? Yeah, the top is some a, a long ways up there. And that's going to be a dark spot, so put that there. And this is also a very a good exercise in fine muscle control. It helps to be able to crouch moving around, but then after a while your fingers get cramped. So, yeah. Off we go up again. And get, yeah. Somewhere way down there is the that center shaft. And, oh, it looks like I actually blocked over it. So... I might have to put a hatch or something, measure it out, measure it out exactly, and then put a pool of water down at the bottom just to, so I don't die every time I try to do like an insane jump off everything. So, yeah. Some interesting vistas. And let's see. This was kind of fortuitous, this, this spot, because I built about 10 layers, and I had ended about right there. Um, in the center there, and I built all of this in one go, so at the end I was up here and I had no way of kind of building a scaffold. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to build a ladder down, because that's, I don't typically keep track of that stuff when I'm building. I just try to build one layer over the next, over the next, over the next, and um, I, it was somewhat fortuitous, like I, like I said, when I realized that I had this outcropping. I'm like, oh, if I can just get down to that piece, then I can scamper along the side and get back and get all the way back down. So anyway, here we are on the top, and you can see what kind of a view we have off the edge of this. And I'm gonna have to see if I can trick this thing into loading because way off there, there is like a, there is a lit arch that is over the far side of a cave system that I've been exploring that I didn't expect to actually see from over here. So that was kind of cool. Uh, as I was moving around, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, that looks familiar. 
So there's my house um, all the way down there. And if you remember right, that's on the top of a, of a little hill. And I'm looking way down on it here, just to give you a sense for how high this is. And the fact that when I'm looking out, I can see this cloud stretching off into the distance, but they're significantly below me. So yeah, I guess I'm 167, um, which I guess I could have got actually built this a lot taller, but um, we'll see. I don't know if I've got the strength to actually build it too much, build another one of these that's even larger. But this is now at level 85 in the sculpture, and I've got about another 15 left to go. Um, and obviously that's 167 is well shy of 255, which is, I believe, the maximum nominal height of the universe. So I've got a good ways to go, actually. But anyway, hoping my, my spinning around isn't giving anybody vertigo. So... As you can see, over the next 15 layers, there's going to be a, uh, you know, we're starting to close this thing off. The whole, the whole statue is actually, the whole space is going to start stepping off this way to the southeast um, very shortly here, actually. We've been closing down the, um, the size of each perimeter loop, and the, but now it's going to be about this size for the next couple layers, but, the, but it's going to start, you know, shifting, keeping the same size, just moving laterally down this direction. So we'll see. And if I play my cards right and I build the scaffolding right around the inside, I might be able to build ways through like doors or openings or something so that I can walk out on these ledges and look off into the distance. Um, so because that would be kind of cool to be able to look down and say, oh look at that. And look off into the distance and see all the various caves and lit up areas and other interesting features that are going on in the world around us. So anyway, that's about it. Um, like I said, I just wanted to t capture something of you know, what this video looks like, what this sculpture looks like and share my progress a little bit. So. Um, let me know what you think, if this is interesting, or if it's um, not, I suppose. Not that I'm going to stop working on it, but I guess it's always interesting to find out if other people are as interested in this as I am. So, anyway, uh, like I said, glad hope you liked it. Thanks.